I'm Eileen Roach and I'm editor of Designs and Machine Embroidery Magazine and really considered an embroidery expert. One of the most favorite things I like to do with my embroidery machine is quilt with it. You can do so many quilting designs with your embroidery machine. This mini row was stitched in about an hour and a half. It's five different hoopings. It includes roll edge applique and then some embellishments and couching over a twine that's supposed to resemble a, a clothesline. The best part about this is my hoop never comes off my machine. I have my mag magnetic hoop, my snap hoop monster attached to the machine. I'll hoop the first hooping and that's just quilting. And then right at the machine, I'm just gonna lift the top frame, store it over the head of the machine and advance my fabric, drop the hoop back down and continue quilting. Let me show you how easy that is to do. Of course, you're gonna need the embroidery designs to make this mini quilt. And I'm using Life's a Beach from Designs and Machine Embroidery Magazine. I've already loaded it into my machine and I'll just touch embroidery and go to the USB stick, which is where I have stored it. And now I'm on hooping number two. So I'll select the second design and it fills the screen and touch embroidery. Since my first quilting, my first hooping is already complete, I'm going to lift that top frame and store it over the head of the machine. Take the template of my second design and position that on the fabric, making sure that the top right and left edges are aligned with the previous quilting. And then I'll just advance my fabric and I'm leaving that needle centered over the crosshair on the template. Take my top hoop, drop it back in place. And just with my fingers, I make sure that the edges are aligned top and bottom. The beauty about this hoop is you can smooth and tug your fabric. You can make my my new changes right at the needle without removing the whole hoop. So I'll drop my presser foot and I can use the laser beam to make sure that the laser is aligned with the center of my crosshair. And that looks to me like it's a perfect alignment. So with my presser foot raised all the way up, I wanna remove my template, just peel it back and store it on its protective paper. And then all I need to do now is quilt.